What's the best PRN logic you have ever seen? Put stick inside her. I feel something poking me him. No it's nothing. Huh? Must have been the wind. Okay. There is this lesbian PRN about two roommates who discover that they both have a date with the same dude at the same time and just decide to stay home and have sex with each other instead. All I could think about was this guy seriously wanting to date both girls at literally the same time. Did he plan to use the old switcheroo? Wait. I have to use the restroom real quick. Sprints to the second date and spends a few minutes there. Excuse me for a moment. Some woman was acting like she was baking cookies. She just smashed flour and water together under a rolling pin before taking store bought cookies out of the oven. Worst part is that once the actual PRN started she threw the flour all over her vagina. It killed my mood to see such carelessness and a blatant disregard for the art of baking. Stepdad and stepdaughter doing the deed noiselessly next to sleeping mom. Where do they buy their beds from? Tempopedic. Obviously. Don't you remember the wine glass commercials? A technician fumbling around with a Phillips head screwdriver. Trying to tighten the hex head bolt. Instant turn off. Dude can't even handle his bolt and we about to see him nut. Girl A is looking for something under her bed. Gets stuck. Girl B crawls under there to help. Gets stuck. Guy walks by and is asked to help but can't lift the bed. So girl A asks for some SX. Girl B gets excited and asks for some too. Guy is now able to lift bed with Bona. Your fully grown adult stepsister will do literally anything as long as you don't tell your parents that you walked in on her emsturbating. She also gets stuck in washing machines a lot. I saw a scene once where the guy asked the girl if she was going to join in for a three way and her logic was sure. The one where the dude needs to hide so he just puts a lampshade on his head and stands there. You have to learn how to suck and so you don't become a stick stick and girl while she's doing laundry oh sorry that's my phone. Gasp. A burglar. How dare you break into my house. I'll teach you. Peeping Tom gets punished with SX. So get this. The dog walker, the girl, loses the dog. Goes back to the house to the toll the owner. And the owner said something along the lines of you are my dog now mayo. The actual line dog was never seen or mentioned again. Comma why the owner doesn't care. He he still has a dog. What do you mean? The girl needed to pee. So she walked into a random house. And found a bathroom with no toilet. Only a dude in a bathtub who told her to wee into the bathtub. What the hell? The oblivious roommate who is playing video games while her roommate gets railed. To be honest if my roommates were doing that I would just ignore them. Just put my headphones on. So a guy and a girl have been chatting on my space. This was a while ago. The girl calls him to say that she has a free house and that he should come over. The dude arrives. But he doesn't recognize the girl. She gets down on the bed and looks up at him. But he still doesn't recognize her. The dude finally realizes that it is the same girl from the photo when he climbs a ladder and looks down at her sitting on the bed. It turns out that all of the pictures he had seen of her were taken in the duck face style. So he only knows what she looks like looking up at the camera. She then starts sucking the guy off while he is sitting on the ladder and the action carries on from there. Mother oh got her hand stuck in a couch. Skip that. I wish I knew what it was. So this barely legal 27 year old is in the shower. Older dude walks in and she asks him whether he's doing in her bathroom. Dude says he is a poker buddy of her dad's and he needs to take her. She reluctantly says. Okay and he takes off his pants and underwear and sits down on the toilet. He gets up. Walks over to the shower door and starts just jerking off while making the stupidest faces. She freaks out and asks him again what the he's doing. He responds that her father told him to make himself at home. And ask his daughter if he needs anything. He needs a blowjob. She says something like. Well if my dad said to take care of you. Guess I should take care of you. 
15 minutes go by and they've had everywhere in the bathroom. Dude says he's getting clothes. Pulls out and starts to finish on her. But what starts out as a moan ends up in the loudest. Guttural battle cry I've ever heard. Ooh h h h h h h h h h h h h h It was the funniest PRN I've ever seen. But can't find it for the life of me. Leaving doors unlocked while showering or emsturbating. Yeah I don't understand this. Personally I live with my parents in the way I secure myself before doing anything of the kind as such that even if a world emergency was declared and SEAL Team 6 was to converge on my room. The time it would take them to break through would be enough for me to make my room look like the inside of a church. You go straight from teen to milf at around age 24. As far as I can tell. You either retire a teen or live long enough to become a mature natural. Don't tell your mom. Mom. If you're an attractive woman and you're a little short on the pizza you ordered. That one doesn't even work anymore because these days you pay online before the order goes through. I suppose it could count as a tip though. Guy 1. Stick stick in popcorn. Guy 2. Grab some popcorn dude. Is that your dick? Guy 1. N no. It's cock bar and I mean popcorn. The sauna without any heat or steam. In other words the sauna that isn't even in use and the girls wearing three layers of makeup. You know. To casually grab a sauna. Oh. And if they are trying to create the illusion of a doctor's office. All you need to do is hang up one anatomy chart. Done. Special shout out to the prop guys who get yellow rubber dishwashing gloves for the doctor's office scenes. I saw a scene where a nurse kicked her patient down the stairs because he said he didn't need her help for his broken leg. I couldn't whack it anymore after watching it because I couldn't stop laughing. Sorry. I don't have enough money for the ice cream man. Maybe I can pay in another way. This was the only time I have ever gone to a PRN theater. The movie starts. A man has a broken down motorcycle on the side of the road. A woman pulls up. She says. What's the problem? He says. There's something wrong with my spark plug. She says. There's nothing wrong with your spark plug. And then they have SX on the motorcycle. But there clearly was something wrong with his spark plug since his motorcycle wasn't working. I started laughing hysterically. Man in the back row huffed loudly and left. I guess I ruined his immersion in the plot. I still sometimes say to my husband during SX there's nothing wrong with your spark plug and then we giggle. It'll never get old. The one where step bro is helping his stepsis to correct her golf swing by stabilizing her torso by using his penis as an anchor inside her so she can get better at golf. As always. She really needs it and only he can help her. One has a classroom with four people in it. The high school cheerleading team is three women in their late twenties. Guy gropes a girl. She clearly doesn't want to be groped. She doesn't do anything but struggle a little. Guy stops. Girl looks scared a few seconds. Then goes back to do what she was doing like nothing happened. Rinse and repeat but every time gets more intense. My mind. I swear. Having SX in someone's kitchen isn't the problem. The problem is that you're eyeing right in front of her and her salad. Asterisk. Edit. Okay seriously. The wholesome award. And gold. Stop boosting this dumb joke and spend that money on something worthwhile. Please. Go to those lemon stealing s so they stop stealing your eyeing lemons. Getting stuck in the washing machine then your brother comes in and decides to you up the ass. If you rub harder. She comes faster. Just slap the out of that genital area. Works every time. Plumber fixing her pipes. There once was a plumber named Lee who was plumbing a girl by the sea said she. Stop your plumbing. I hear someone coming. Said the plumber. Still plumbing. It's me. Mom I do my own plumbing. You. My adoptive brother. You ed my mom. You ed my sister. And you watched me masturbating. 
There is only one way to make this up to me. I wanna see you masturbate. Adoptive brother. Then take off your clothes. Girl. It's not cheating if it's an L. This is a direct quote. My favorite. But I poop from there. Not right now. This was ages ago. We though we were watching the Blair Witch Project but it was actually a lesbian? Comma PRN parody that we were far too young to be watching. I remember we tuned in just as the line oh my god the scary ghosts are back. We have to get naked and have sx again. Paraphrasing. But that was basically it. That haunts me. Setup. Woman. Looks 39. Is supposed to be 18. And her boyfriend. Looks 18. Are laying in bed. Woman wakes up and has to leave for school or something. Tells boyfriend to sneak out after she and her dad leave. Boyfriend is caught on the stairwell by woman's dad's best friend who happens to just be there for some reason. Dad's friend. You better not have been doing anything with her. She's my best friend's daughter and I'll do anything to protect her. Boyfriend. Colon. Open bracket. Dad's friend. Why don't you show me what you had her do to you? Boyfriend. Oh. Okay. Boyfriend goes down on dad's friend while daughter and dad are leaving. PRN. Plot twist after a few minutes. Dad comes back home and catches them. Dad. Well. 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 Dad's friend. A W W E E. Sudden threesome. Friend finishes up and leaves. Dad continues with daughter's boyfriend. When a sudden plot twist. Boyfriend. Actually I let myself get caught. Because I've always thought you were hot. Dad. Colon. The one with. If I remember correctly. Lisa and where a guy is in a tub. Taking a bath and she enters the bathroom as a lifeguard. It's hilarious. Edit. Whoa. Who would ever think that my knowledge of a PRN movie would mean 14k updates? Thanks to everyone. You wholesome PRN fans. This isn't a beach. This is a bathtub. Mine will always be where it's a bunch of straight dudes sitting in a room bored and playing video games watching a game or whatever. And they're so bored they just decide to all start tying each other. I mean. I've been in this exact situation in rooms filled with completely out of the closet gay men. And we never got so bored we just decided to gang bang out of nowhere. So I have a hard time believing any straight men are doing that. Either that. No gay sx in front of a salad. Front load washers are notoriously dangerous for getting stuck. My boyfriend just had my best friend. As punishment he will now have to both of us. Uncle I'm stuck on this tree with a broken leg. But first let's use this condom I found. There is a Japanese PRN. About a husband gets trapped in a time loop. A regular day. He goes to work but then he realizes he has left something at home. He goes back and sees his wife cheating on him with another man. They are obviously doing that. The husband dies. But he wakes up on the same day. He goes to work again and decides to go home earlier this time. Somewhere there the wife is doing with another man. The husband dies again. He wakes up the same day. Now he decides not to work. His wife still manages to do it with another man. Dies and wakes up. I think once he tries to do it with his wife. But still dies. Basically he tries to break the loop and not have his wife cheated on him. Very complicated. Can't remember what happens in the end. Family member is stuck. Better them. Guy fixes woman's pool. She invites him to come inside. The dude there so then and there and finished in her. She does a surprise Pikachu face and says I didn't mean it like that. There was one where a girl had her family over and the boyfriend was making a pizza the big sausage way. When he comes over with the pizza his sausage is sticking out the front of the pizza making the grandfather have a heart attack and the family leaves to take the grandfather to the hospital. Postman rings the doorbell. Woman just out of the shower. In a house coat. Opens. A package for Miss Smith. That's me. Do you have any identification? I'm in a house coat. 
I don't have my driver's license in it? Apostrophe. No. Of course not. Do you have any other way to hide yourself? Apostrophe. I can show you my PSSY. Apostrophe. But how will that help? Apostrophe. Do you really think that I have some other woman's PSSY between my legs? Well my PRN is in written format rather than filmed and most of it is fanfic. I once read one that was basically. I don't like you. I don't like you either. Wanna? Okay. Wait. I'm not at the beach. This is a bathtub. Runner up. Red Riding Hood getting dicked down by the wolf. Only for the wolf to reveal himself as Skeletor. Found this old PRN OVHS years ago. Watching it and these two girls are walking down a trail in the hills. Probably California. They come across this dude in a breech cloth and full nat of American headdress. Native dude. When girls. Aren't you supposed to say how native dude? Me know how. Most PRN categories aren't actually used to convey what the category actually mean. MILF is code for 25-30 year olds. Note being a mother is not a requirement. Guy needs a lifeguard to take a bath. Burglar breaks into a house the owner girls come by girl 1. OMG call the police girl 2. Whispers, don't call the police he has a dick girl 1. I can't remember the conversation. But the stepmom was trying to coax her stepson into SX and was talking something along the lines of is sad having a big dick. Rest of convo is as follows. Stepmom. Come on just pull it out. You've got to have a big dick. It's in your genes. Stepson. These are shorts. I couldn't stop laughing and had to switch it over to a different video. Woman with her stepson stuck at a hotel due to a delayed flight. Stepson can't sleep so he starts jerking off to relax. Stepmom. That's gross and inappropriate. I'll just suck your dick. So we can get it over with. Dot. Later. This isn't working. We better just. Has to be done. We won't be able to get home to my husband and your father if you're tired. Two women are the only ones in attendance at a funeral. They sit next to each other and hug. To comfort each other. Seconds later. They begin making out. About a minute into the making out. They both turn and look at the camera and go. Give us a break. It's a PRNO. I watched one where a girl got hit in the head with a tennis ball. Promptly lost all memories. And was convinced by her stepbrother that he was her boyfriend. Min blowing. Guy giving woman a massage is 5 minutes in after feeling her up he finds some potted palm tree to sit on and starts reading playboy with his cock out us probably the most confused I ever been. I'm stuck in the washing machine step bro. Jesus Christ. We're not stuck. Go to a hotel see a dick coming from the top part of the bunk start sucking a stranger dick. Not even Kustian whose dick is that this is a private room. I saw this one where they were interviewing a girl about some guy she doesn't like. She said he called me a coxsucker. And I didn't like that. So I sucked his cock. Then the interviewer called her a coxsucker. You can probably guess what happened after that. Thyreus is a few gems among German PRN as well. The best is probably a woman in a locker room trying on a firefighter uniform. A firefighter comes in. Accuses her of wanting to steal the uniform and drags her into the garage. He shouts off alarm. Alarm. And five more firefighters come around the fire truck carrying a bed. It's not gay if you a trap. A random dumbass. I'm straight so whatever gets my dick hard is a woman you farty. Ridskalen 2. Swedish 4 horse riddening school or whatever it's called. One of the trainers make a move on a girl with, roughly translated. I know why girls like horses. It's because of their massive DCKS. I also have a horse DCK. Wanna see? And then they make a lot of shagging. Brother. You showed my best friend your tits? Well I'll tell mom if you don't show me too. Sister. Uh, okay. Flashes. Brother. 
Well I'm sure you showed him more than that. Sister. Well. But I poop from there. Not right now you don't. Only now realizing how strange Daojin plots are. I got two off my head. One. This guy comes home from work stressed and sees a guy just sitting at his doorstep. So he takes the guy in and has him lick his feet and legs. Hey you. Stray dog woof. Two. This one's one's a bit cliche. This freshman is told by another freshman that has a virgin because his dick is too big. So he shows it to him. The first guy feels sorry for his big anaconda and then he lies down and is like go on then what? Fire sex. All females are bisexual. Wife finds husband cheating. But instead of cutting off his penis. She joins in. Not. Gonna. Happen. Hentai. Basically every time the demon lord came he reverted back to a weaker form. On the contrary. Every time the heroines received evil semen they became more powerful but more wicked. At the end the heroines ganged on the demon lord and started an infinite loop where he was coming infinitely but was never able to break it and take over the world. But. The girls never ended on him and kept the loop themselves. I saw one scene where the husband walks into the bedroom and catches the wife eyeing another dude. The guy pulls out and stands there. Mid or guess M. With cum literally spurting out and he says to the husband it's not how it looks. This girl was sick and had a sore throat. She's tried everything so her stepbrother suggest maybe cum will do the trick. After sinning for 10 minutes. He comes in her mouth and is cured. For reasons that would take too long to explain I was once helping out on a faux PRN shoot. IDK. PRN shoot but intended to be the background to another film. Two girls and a guy on a motorbike. No it was not running. The girls are making out and the guy is behind one of them. The whole thing was sort of hilarious. The guy freaked out early on and drank a heap of vodka and then couldn't stay hard so one girl was being the fluffer and it got so absurd we all wanted to die. Eventually they start this appalling and yet hilarious screaming and writhing on the bike and the director couldn't bring himself to direct them. The girl furthest from the guy suddenly shrieks and throws her head back. And hollers I can't believe IT goes straight through. I mean. It worked. Given the context. But the hysterical laughter from the rest of the crew must have been hard to scrub. Mom catches son and daughter going at it. Screams what are you doing? Your siblings. And then goes back to whatever they were doing before in the corner of the room. Without trying at all to separate them or punish them. Just watch any femdom PRN. What? That's all adequate logic by my standards. How else are you supposed to get revenge on the girl who stole your boyfriend or, my favorite, the girl who was mean to you in high school? Stepsister. You can you not m stir while I am in the room? Full stop. Stepbrother. No. Full stop. Stepsister. Well I guess we can then even though your penis disgusted me 3 seconds ago. Gay PRN. A guy, let's call him Bob Allen, is in a public restroom at a park. A large black gentleman, let's call him Danny Kavanagh, enters the bathroom. Bob Allen thinks the black man is going to rob him and offers to pay Danny $20 so that he, Bob Allen, can blow him, Danny. Ridiculous. Right? Who would offer to pay someone to blow them because they are afraid of them? But that's what Bob Allen claims. Semicolon. Plot twist. Danny Kavanagh is actually an undercover police officer. Semicolon. Plot twist twisted. Bob Allen is actually rep. Bob Allen. RFL. In Titusville. FL. Semicolon. This bull really happened in 2007 in, surprise, Florida. Girl you need a lifeguard. Guy la die. Fizz is a b at ht up. Girl I think we should have sx. Guy confuse pause okay. To my fellow Germans. Ilam. Ilam. My absolute favorite of all time is one that takes place in Thanksgiving and the family is having dinner. The dinner is an inflatable turkey. If you sit a woman on a chair and her feet hit the floor then she's old enough. 
If not. You cut the legs of the chair off. The one with the T-Rex costume lul. Two girls were kissing and their respective dads found out. They then decide to swap their daughter and have SX to make them heterozool again. Complete stupidity. But it made me laugh. Trans actress playing cis woman celebrating her birthday with cis woman friend. Trans actress blows out candle on her cake and wishes she had a huge dick. She wakes up in the middle of the night having grown a huge dick. And runs screaming into her friend's bedroom with it flopping around. Asks what am I going to do now? They add. What happened when a lemon thief gets caught made perfect sense. Don't call the cops. My hand's broken so you have to emster at me for me. I'm just imagining OP as a PRN writer and is furiously taking notes to write the best PRNO ever. From the most intricate plot lines. To the catchy one liners. And incredulous setting of it all. Insert SX here. All climaxing in one unforgettable ending that resolves the plot. People will have come for the beautiful people having SX. But stay for the beautiful masterpiece of PRNO writing. More hente logic but. In a naughty writer's room. A new boy gets a job. His three co-workers are female. One looks like she's literally a child. She's 37. They have to canonically make that clear.